we're getting your money's worth, the show that focuses on value. I'm Judith West, and our guest today is Brian Eck, Senior Travel Analyst, Travel Master, what can I call you, with Priceline.com. Right, a celebrity travel, celebrity travel master, okay? Um, thanks for being on this show. The timing couldn't be better. People are thinking about their holiday uh, uh, plans and what they're, where they're going. Um, tell me something. I, do do people use private travel agents anymore, or is booking your tickets online standard operating procedure? Booking your tickets online is so easy now that anybody can do it. However, typically the private travel agents are used more for a complex trip where you have multiple destinations involved, multiple right. connections and that. But if you're traveling home for the holidays, for example, you can do it just as easily and just as quickly yourself and find a good deal. Okay. Well, that's what I want to ask you about. Find a, that's what we talk about, finding a good deal. Um, I've read that airline, this is, a, this is a bad year for airline prices. They've gone up. Mm -hmm. uh, we know the capacity has gone down. Even when I take a flight on off day, I am surprised that the plane is full or even three weeks ahead of time, I, I have to take a middle seat. Um, so how, tell me something. How can you still, get, can, is it too late to get a good deal for Thanksgiving? It's not too late, but it's getting tight as far as availability and prices. This is the second most expensive year in the last eight years for holiday airfares for both Thanksgiving and for Christmas. So what I recommend to folks is that if you know you're going to fly for the holidays, and if you see a price that you really like, you should book it now because what we're seeing... Even for Christmas or New Oh, ab absolutely, because what we're seeing is there are actually fewer seats flying right now than there were in past years. So you have so a lot of... Right. So there's, le there's, less, there's less of a pool, smaller, a, sh a shrinking availability. There's a, there's a smaller pool. I also saw this year people coming in looking for tickets about two weeks earlier than normal. Really? So you have a lot of demand. And then the other thing affecting pricing is the price of oil, jet fuel, is now up. The price of a barrel of oil is now north of $80, so you're starting to see that affected as well. But you have some tips for getting a good deal, and I want to run through them. I read some of them. First off, uh, depending on what city you're in, there's a choice in airports, and it makes a difference. Makes Chicago, I, I, O'Hare is what everyone talks about, but Midway is a, is, is a, is a better economic choice. Do those things exist around the country? Absolutely. I'll tell you, just here in the New York area, the difference for a holiday airfare between LaGuardia and Newark is $50. Really? And, Lagu and LaGuardia is cheap. cheaper? Absolutely. How about that? So it, it makes a difference. The major airports, in some cases, you should check the price because you may find that it's actually better to fly into a major airport as, as opposed to a smaller one and then rent a car and drive. Right. Because of because of, of the value, absolutely. Okay. All right, so that's one thing to check. Now um, you have some other tips uh, in in your talking points. Uh, you talk about day of the week or to leave or to come back. Tell us about that. Sure, day of the week is very important. I'll give you an example. If you were to fly on Thanksgiving, on say the Saturday before Thanksgiving, that's when everybody wants to the fly. The Saturday before Thanksgiving. Correct. The average price for that is $409. If you waited two days and fly on the Monday before, before Thanksgiving, the average price drops to $341. Right. So you save about 50 bucks going and going if you wait if you wait a couple of days. Absolutely. The trick is if you can And probably a lot more and probably a lot of hassle. <laughs> oh, absolutely. If you can, try to fly on the Monday or Tuesday before or after the holiday. Don't fly on the weekends because you're going to pay the most. The other thing that people don't realize is if you fly on the holiday itself, you'll also save a lot of money. So if you can fly on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, it will be cheaper. And if you can fly on Thanksgiving Day, it will be cheaper as well. You know, I used to do that, Brian, and then I got scared by flight being canceled on the day of the holiday or being so delayed. But I used to like a 7 a.m. flight out on, you know, on, on a holiday because, because of that reason. Also, there was less hassle, less people. For me, as well as the money, there, were less, there was less crowds. 
A absolutely. That's, uh, that is when the crowds really this year, you, the airports, you're going to see a lot of people. So it would be much easier to fly on those days when you're going to find the airports less crowded. Yeah. And if you can, baggage? <laughs> baggage. Oh, baggage. What a problem baggage is these days. <laughs> What, what's going on right now is the airlines are charging fees for extra bags and also for overweight bags. And those fees can start anywhere from $25 and up. So what I suggest that you do is, first of all, don't bring presents. If, you, if you're going for the holiday, send the presents on That's ahead. That's a good idea. Right. It's UPS. Yeah, absolutely. Because also, you arrive at the airport with a bag, with a with a parcel that's already wrapped. Security is going to open it up. Right. And what you see as a present, the airlines may see as extra baggage. Right. So you can mail your beautifully gift wrapped packages, put them in a cart, and send them UPS, and you don't even and you save money and you don't have the hassle. A absolutely. And also weigh your bags before you go and when you come back, right. just to make sure because the limit is 50 pounds. If it goes over and they're 50 pounds, they're pretty strict about it now, right? They are very strict about it. I've I've encountered situations where I've flown, and I've wound up taking clothes out of my suitcase and actually throwing the clothes away so that I could get underneath the uh, the maximum weight. Yeah, I mean I've seen people dividing things up and sending stuff home and all kinds of, and all kinds of things. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so that's some good general tips. Now there's a program that you have that surprised me. It was something called Name Your Own Price, or what do you call it? Name. It's Name Your Own Price. Mm -hmm. Tell me. You mean? Do you mean to tell me I I can look at a price and put it at a hundred dollars less, is that, and that's going to work? What happens? Tell is, me how that works. Uh, sure. The airlines. There are certain seats that the airlines are pretty sure that they're not going to fill. Those seats may be early in the morning. They may be late in the evening, but they have seats that they know are going to fly empty. So what Priceline's Name Your Own Price service does is you can make an offer up to 40, 50% below the published really? fare. And what we'll do is we'll go to the airlines and see if we can find an airline with an empty seat that's willing to sell it. And what's interesting is even around the holidays, I did a check for the New York market before, before coming here today, and I found that people were actually getting discounts for Thanksgiving around 37% below the published prices and around 27% for Christmas below really? the published prices, and, so the great and, deals. And, and, but they're flying off times? Um, some of those are off times. Some may be midday, but it's basically times when the business travelers are not flying. And it's major airlines. All major airlines. Not some, you know, offshoot. No, right. no. Nope. Really? And so it's and it's name your own price. You name your price. So and what's then, the average price? I mean, should, what kind of a discount should you reasonably take? Uh, I suggest that you start at try try 50% off 50 percent off and see kind of yeah and but if you're flying at a time when you know that it's going to be crowded or there aren't going to be many seats for example around Thanksgiving you may be a little bit more um, careful with that in terms of maybe put in 30 percent because then you'll have a good chance of getting so it. tell me something so you have people at Priceline that take that bid it's a bid right yeah. take that bid for a seat on that, that and you shop it for them it, it's all done by computers oh you do it, so it's done that's done electronically it's, it's you done send out you mm -hmm. send it out and anybody that wants it says I'll I'll sell my seat at that it's price all done electronically and it's, it's done a really old-fashioned very old-fashioned way it's like an auction it, it it's a very old-fashioned way yeah. of doing business isn't it yeah but it's a but and it's you a guys take a, you guys have a commission on that Yes, we do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's a really pretty old-fashioned way of doing business. It's kind of interesting. Well, it, it takes the Internet, and it really turns it into a one-on-one -on -one shopping experience where a consumer makes an offer, and then the airlines can decide whether or not they want to accept it. And then how about how long does it take after you make the offer? Seconds. Seconds. And tell me something. Can you trust it when you, you get a confirmation? Or can you trust it? They're you'll not going to grab the seat back from you when you get there? No, you get a confirmation number. You'll get your flight times. You'll get your airline. You'll get everything you need. You get a boarding pass? Absolutely. Sometimes you can't get a boarding pass when you buy online. Well, online, typically, you take your confirmation number, and that will do it. And, and that makes your, and that makes your mm -hmm. boarding. But, and all these, is, this, is, this is as safe as talking to somebody and getting <laughs> it, the, the old-fashioned way. It absolutely is. It's amazing. How much of the airline business do you guys do in this country? 
It, uh, it really depends upon the time of year. Around the holidays, it's a little bit less because the airlines don't need as much help selling seats. But during the slower periods, for example, once we get into the winter, when it, the airline business is a little bit softer, you may see a lot more tickets what being is, made what, available. What, when is it least uh, expensive? I don't always wear cheap. When is it least expensive to fly in the in the winter months? Generally, like to the Caribbean or to Florida, you know, warm weather places. What is it least expensive? Generally, I would go look for a ticket immediately after New Year's. But January, January, February, February. Mm -hmm. January, February, and then I would wait again, and you'll find that if you wait in the summer, once you get past July, so that people who have already booked tickets, those tickets have been booked, so the airlines know how many seats will go empty, so that's a good time. Be, right. mm -hmm. yeah, do you do hotels also? Um, hotels generally, they, the discounts you can get through hotels on Priceline using Name Your Own Price are actually even deeper. Deeper? Deeper. Those oh, can wow. go up to 60% and kidding. even in major markets like really? New York City. Mm -hmm. So can a person take, uh, live in New York uh, or Chicago or, you know, or Boston, any cold weather place and decide they want to go to Miami Beach? Mm -hmm. And, and bid on that uh, on a hotel? Absolutely, and you can bid on any star level hotel from a- Can it be a five star? It can be a five star if there are five stars in that in that market. So it could be it could be any of these name brands, like a Four Seasons or Ritz Carlton, any of those kinds? Well, you won't know which one you're going to get, but we oh. have major brands that are participating with us. But what you can do, for example, you would say, these are the dates that I want. I want a four star hotel. This is the neighborhood that I want, and this is the price that I want to pay. And it works the same as our airline really? service. We will then take that, and we'll go see if there's a hotel that's willing to sell at that discount. And if so, we'll book it for you that's, on the spot, and you'll know in seconds. That's an amazing service. It's, it's really great. And by the way, it works for rental cars, too. Ever, so a person, you can basically plan your whole vacation from air to hotel to renting a car with name your own price. You absolutely can. I think it's, a, I think it's an amazing event. Well, thank it's a, you. Is it, how long have you been in business, name your price? Uh, Twelve years. Right. And it's grown in popularity? It absolutely is. And the savings, we have now, we've had, we've saved people billions of dollars oh, on I'm the sure. travel. Right. All right. And, and this is under your bailiwick? Yes. Yes, it is. I actually run... Price Breakers, which is Priceline's last-minute deal service. So for the is that real, different from Name Your Price? Uh, it's a little bit different. Well, we don't have a minute. What's Price Breakers? I thought we I thought we found the best yet. What's uh, Price Breakers? Price Breakers is basically I take all of the deals that the hotels and airlines are willing to sell at the very last minute, and then what's the I last sell them. minute? Twenty-four hours. Oh, can be a week out, whatever. Oh, typically, it could be even, so it could be okay. But it, but it's typically a week or closer are the deals that uh, that I have. And then and then you lowball. And then basically, I'll show you the price, and you'll see what the price is. You'll see what you're getting, and uh, and you can book it on the spot. And uh, there are some and that's, fantastic and deals. I mean, discounts as much as fifty, sixty percent. As much as fifty, sixty percent. But you have to be ready to go. But can you trust that once you do it? Yes, you, don't, you, you, don't, you don't go down there and they say, oh, so this price, you can't have this. We're putting you in the basement next to the air conditioning system. <laughs> no, you get, you get quality merchandise when you, you do. do that. Okay. Well, thanks very much for thanks being so on the show. You gave us some, you. Really good, good, some good tips. Appreciate you having me. I'm Judith West. You're watching Getting Your Money's Worth. And we certainly got our money's worth today from Brian Eck, Travel Master with Priceline, Name Your Price, and Price Breakers. Thanks for being on the show, and thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.